I was asked, how do you beat a drug trafficking charge in the state of Florida? Well, that's kind of an open-ended question, and it, it can matter on a lot of different things. But like in all cases, it's a matter of doing the work. Okay, so first we analyze what caused you to be arrested for drug trafficking. Um, second, was something done in the investigation that was improper? Third, we look at who the players are. Typically in a drug trafficking charge, what we're going to see is a, an operation where uh, there might be sur surveillance, there might be something that we call a confidential informant. And confidential informants are those who stay confidential, usually somebody else who has been arrested for drugs and that in order to get out of their situation, they're turning state's evidence, meaning they're, they're essentially telling on the people that they know who either use or deal drugs in order to get a better sentence. So looking at who that confidential source is and if there's any way that we can use that to our benefit in the case, uh, those are the things that we look at when we're attacking our drug trafficking cases. Sometimes drug trafficking can just be simply based on the amount in possession you are of something, whether you not you actually had the intent of trafficking. And if we can show that something is for personal use and not, you know, there's no distribution whatsoever, the state might consider a breakdown in charge. So there's many ways that we look at it. We, we kind of holistically look at each case and seeing you know, where our strengths, where our weaknesses are, and, and obviously work on our strengths. So if you want to know more about drug trafficking laws, then call our office. Uh, we have plenty of guides on our website about criminal defense matters, and you can click the link below uh, to learn more about what we do.